our dear friend and colleague from Louisiana, Mr. Steve Scalise. Congressman Scalise returned to the House floor this morning to a standing ovation after he was wounded in June when a gunman opened fire at a baseball practice. All the members of the House stood and applauded as the Louisiana Republican relied on crutches to walk, grateful to be alive. Crystal and David were assigned to my security detail that morning. And let me tell you, if they didn't act so quickly, and even after being shot both themselves, continued to engage the shooter and ultimately got him down, which not only saved my life, but saved the life of a lot of other people that are here in this chamber today. Crystal couldn't be with us today. But David Bailey is with us. David, you are my hero. You saved my life. And I'm ready. Thank you so much. Scalise and four other people were injured on June 14th when a gunman opened fire on a Republican baseball practice in nearby Alexandria, Virginia. U.S. Capitol Police and other officers returned fire and killed the gunman. The rifle-wielding attacker had grievances against President Donald Trump and the GOP. Today, there was no partisanship. So many others of you, again, both Republican and Democrat, reached out in ways that I can't express the gratitude and how much it means to me, Jennifer, and our whole family. The 51-year-old congressman was struck in the hip, and the bullets tore into blood vessels, bones, and internal organs. It's taken three months to arrive at this point today. When I come back into this chamber here today, it, it just seeing the faces of all of you, uh, it, it just means more to me than you can imagine. This was the House Majority Whip's first public appearance since the shooting. And he plans on taking part in congressional voting today. Chris? Okay, Cindy, good to have him back at work. Yeah. That's for sure. Thank you. Well, before returning to the Hill today, Congressman Scalise sat down with Nora O'Donnell for an interview that will appear on 60 Minutes. He opens up about exactly what happened the day he was shot. And you can watch it right here on CBS 2 Sunday. That's at 7.30 p.m.